Good day guys. I've been playing around the basement here wondering what I can do today just to pass some time away so I decided to make some trap takes. Uh, I've bought some in the past, the ones you write on, but I don't like those. The metal's so, so thin and your numbers don't stay on that great. So This is what I'm doing anyway. Uh, things you're going to have to have though is a set of set of uh, number stamps and letter stamps all depends on what what you have to stamp on your trap or use as a tag here in Nova Scotia the only thing we have to put on is their uh, trap or ID number we don't need a name or address or anything like that just a registered number so and my number where I've been trapping since I've been 20 uh, is only four numbers a letter and three numbers and some of the new guys that's come in, come in the trade, they have to use their their wildlife resource card number, which is nine numbers. So I'm, I'm I'm lucky that way. I'm allowed to I'm allowed to keep my old number. So anyway, this is what we're doing. Very easy. Okay. All you need is some spent cartridges. I'm using either 3030s or 32 specials, or any any kind of a any kind of a brass casing cartridge. And I'll show you what I do. So, first thing you got to do is get a casing, put it in the vise, squeeze it a little bit, take a hacksaw, and saw it all quarter inch back from the back of the casing. And put it a little farther in the vise and just squeeze it together. Okay, so you end up with something like that. And here I don't know how good this is going to come out but now you take your casing I got this to, all this is is a, an old anvil that I just that I made and it's made out of a piece of railroad track okay and all I've done is uh, just ground it around it and welded a, a flat plate on the top of the top of the anvil just to get it good and square because it was rounded off some so that's all I use for this anyway so you just take and we flatten that casing out so it's nice and flat okay Casing back on there, and these little metal stamps, letter and number stamps. Gotta make sure you're putting them on right, though. And it may make the camera jump, but one. Now it's, it's bent that a little bit, as you can see, just put it on the vise, flatten it down, and there you go. I think you can see that. Now all I do is drill a hole, a small hole in the very end of this, this casing, and I just hog ring that right to my chain of my trap or my the very uh, back into my snare or whatever I want to whatever I want to uh, tag very cheap the only thing you may have to buy is like I say these stamps if you don't already have them but they're fairly cheap they aren't that expensive and they'll last you a lifetime so 
Okay. Anyway, that's what I do for for uh, making my trap tags, and they'll last for years. They won't rust out unless somebody steals it and takes it off your trap. Then they'll be there for a lifetime, and you can also stamp your trap. So. Anyway, I thought I'd let you guys know what I do for tagging my traps. So, anyway, catch you guys later.